Yeah, yeah I'm soon. I'm soon true with what I had planned to say. I thought I could say something in the very end on um, on the next book out. That's it. That. All my books are very short, and this is but this is shorter than every. And it has to do also with shortening the words. I've written a little book I called uh, Små, ja, i Norwegian. Små ord til store problem, or small words for large problems. I'm so unhappy when I see the sort of the dominance of the intellectual class uh, of my society and how they hide very often incompetence by language that is difficult for other people to understand. I think it is important, if we want to preserve a democratic society, to try to broaden the number of those who feel that it is right that they participate in the general social conversation. But to do to, to reach that goal, we have to be uh, be careful by not using too many words that only a slight minority will understand. For certain purposes, it is inevitable that you need special concepts. The carpenter needs some instrument, and he wants it quickly up there, or the doctor needs some instruments. But for the general conversation, I think it is a extreme overuse of what I call dangerous words, dangerous concepts, destructive concepts. We should try to create a society where we can, it's a bit, again back to this topic, where we can reach each other and therefore to try to get this uh, training of each other in a language that is as simple as possible. So I have uh, some 20 advices for writers and I have in many, many years been very interested in reducing, in nearly forcing the students to use ordinary language when they describe social phenomena. Some of them come back to me, I remember particularly one who came back and said, well, when I continued to that other institute uh, in social science, they didn't believe I knew anything since I didn't use their language. I didn't use their Latinized Norwegian. Uh, but uh, I think that is a handicap those who have been around here uh, will have to overcome. And it is important socially to help to create a base for uh, decent conversation among uh, us all. So that is, uh, that is this uh, little book. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to see uh, how that will uh, work out and how that book will be received in uh, the Norwegian society. As a part of that, and I have some pages on it, I take up a topic that I have already touched upon 20 or 30 years back, namely the definition. And I have in my uh, more recent books been very explicit saying crime doesn't exist. How can I say that? Well, it's a part of this program of instead of using this fat word crime, I want to give a description what really happened then. What, what do we really talk about when some say crime? Is it that a person is painting a new uh, street wagon out here uh, against the authorities' will? Or is it that a man uh, hit another man in a bar? I want to be concrete on the occurrences and thereby open for more alternative ways of handling these various acts. But to say that the crime is increasing is meaningless. We need to be concrete on what is happening. 
uh, that is uh, my uh, my point here and uh, some of my colleagues are rather uh, unhappy about it uh, but I stick to my conviction that it is a good thing to know the concrete details in a case as well as it is important to know much more about those who did it or those who received uh, what happened also for opening for ordinary participation in the discussion on what it was all about and therefore of course I also dislike the term a criminal that's a bad term it might be a man or woman who have done something we dislike but all people I know also those killers I know have lots of other aspects of life they might be good fathers in the limited ability they have to reach that other person or they might be good in some sort of handicraft or they might actually be very kind to other people in their restricted community if they end up in prison all these elements of uh, more the shades the weak and the strong sides they disappear in the simplified terminology we often use psychopath is another of these terrible words we should never accept such a word about other human beings it's a list of 20 elements and maybe you check out uh, with so many according to the experts view of them that uh, he could be called something but that something is first of all of course extremely stigmatizing but also it is a uh, impoverishing the language to use these fine words while if we want a, like a society where we participate we should use as ordinary words as possible and use so much linguistic fantasy as we can to get uh, listeners attention of course now I use my clumsy English to convey my message in, to be able to communicate with uh, people outside of this country also but I want to add here I find it very important with my books in particular I write them now in the last 20 years I think I've written them first in my simplified English then I have written them in my Norwegian and I am a decent writer uh, but I cannot go the other way from my more rich Norwegian into my uh, into English because then I feel powerless <laughs> and so I go this way and try and again it's important to find a balance I want to be a member of my national society but I want of course also to have impulses from abroad but I don't want to become international I want to be national first and then to try to use my insights with the Royal Palace just up the street and with the major street passing the windows here so uh, when the parade comes every uh, day at one o'clock uh, to the Royal Palace where they want to play for the king we have to interrupt the uh, lecture and uh, uh, I have at least a sort of feeling, oh, it is good to live in this uh, little country. And it's particularly good, of course, these days where the snow is a blessing for the whole uh, of my surroundings here. Uh, I want also to add that I'm privileged in the meaning that I have been working at a university where I'm left very much in peace from the authorities. Uh, I've been a free man in the meaning that I work at the Faculty of Law, which has a lot of prestige. So uh, the fact that they have accepted me have made more eatable uh, what I try to convey. And then gradually, uh, of course, it grew up a community of scholars at our place. Community, which is good in the meaning that 
they can give warm support community that are important in the meaning that they can give stern frenetic critics on uh, certain points um, and seen in a lifelong perspective uh, that is a great blessing for any person to have a surrounding uh, like uh, this so uh, what a lucky man <laughs>